Your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription includes access to a large collection of professional fonts through Typekit. The Typekit service is available for subscribers of individual plans, including the photography plan. You can find and install Typekit fonts directly within Photoshop or from Typekit.com. In this video, I will show you how to do both starting from Photoshop. I will also show you how to view and manage your installed Typekit fonts with the Creative Cloud desktop application. If I select the text tool, the options in the option bar will change to font options and text options. If I select the type layer that I have here for Typekit, we'll see in this um, window that it says this is the font Helvetica New. If I click in this downward arrow here in the um, on the right side, we'll get a list of all of the fonts that are currently available because they're installed on my system. I have a lot of fonts on my system and you'll see that some of them are Typekit fonts that are already installed. If I hover over any of these fonts, the view will actually change. So before I select it, I can see what that font's going to look like. If I want to just see the Typekit fonts that are installed, I would click this TK right here and that'll filter. So these are all of the Typekit fonts that are currently installed on my system. I'll click on that again to see all of the fonts. So currently this uh, layer or this text layer is Helvetica New. I can find similar fonts with this kind of um, equals looking symbol. Let's click on that and this not only shows me similar fonts that are already installed, it's going out to the Typekit um, site and it's finding similar Typekit fonts that aren't yet installed. So directly from here, I can install a Typekit font. Let's install this Stevie Sands book. So if I click on this cloud with the downward arrow, it's going to install that font and change my text layer to the font. Now if we look up here, this says Stevie Sands. I can search for more Typekit fonts in the same options panel here. If I click where it says Stevie Sands, instead of um, doing the search with this icon, we'll click over here where it says Add Fonts from Typekit, and that's going to launch a browser and take me to typekit.com. You should be logged in when you get here. You can see my name and my avatar here in the upper right hand corner. This is what allows everything to sync. So when you first get to typekit.com, make sure that you're logged into your account. And then from here, you can do searches for all kinds of fonts. On the right hand side, you can search just by classification. If you wanna see all the script fonts, for example, you would um, click on script and then it filters down to just script fonts. So you have classification, uh, paragraph or heading recommendations, and properties. I'll go ahead and choose this first font, Spumante, click on it. It told me that it had four fonts available in my plan, and these are different weights um, of the same font. And we'll just install this first one, the regular, Spumante regular. So we'll just click on the sync button. That will very quickly sync that. And as soon as I switch back to Photoshop, it's available there for me. So I can find it in my drop down list, or I can just type in the name. And as soon as I start typing the letters, then it shows up. So that quickly, we found a font online, synced it back to Photoshop, and changed the text to the new font. The Creative Cloud desktop app is where you manage your applications. You can download them, run updates. If I scroll down here, you'll see I have several applications with updates available. And the next um, group here are applications that I have installed that are up to date. If I am looking for more applications, I can find them down here. Now you can also manage your uh, Typekit fonts from here. If you go to the Assets tab, there is a fonts tab here. So you might by default land on files. So you have files, fonts, and marketplace. So let's take a look at the fonts. These are all of the Typekit fonts that I have currently installed on my system. So these fonts are available to me 
in all of the Adobe applications that use fonts. If I want to manage these fonts in that maybe to remove them, if um, there's a font I'm not using anymore and I want to remove it, then I need to click on the Manage Fonts button. The Manage Fonts button takes you back to typekit.com to a page that lists all of the fonts that you currently have installed. So we see the same list of fonts here and an option to unsync them. So if I click the unsync button, it's like turning it off. And when I switch back to Photoshop, that font will ne no longer be available. Also, if I go back to the Creative Cloud desktop app and look at the fonts that are listed here, the active fonts no longer listed and we see the same fonts listed in the Creative Cloud app as we see on typekit.com. Here's some important things to understand if you design with typekit fonts in Photoshop. First, fonts cannot be embedded in a Photoshop document. So if you hand off your Photoshop file to someone else or open it on a different computer, the font must also be installed in the new location. Typekit fonts cannot be downloaded and distributed, so you can't take a Typekit font and send it to a client or a printer, for example. If you design with Typekit fonts, anyone you share your document with must also have a Creative Cloud subscription. When opening a document that contains a text layer, Photoshop CC will automatically search Typekit for the necessary fonts and give you an option to install them if found. Let's take a look at how that would work here. I'm going to close out this document and save it. Then I'm going to go back to typekit.com and unsync the Spumanti font that I used in that file. When I reopen the file, it tells me there's a missing font. We can see a warning symbol on the text layer and the um, Photoshop has gone out to Typekit, found the missing font, and is giving me the option to resolve it. So I'll click Resolve Fonts. It took a minute, but it activated the font, and now there's no warning symbol here. One last important piece of information here. If you are a student and your school has Creative Cloud applications installed on the classroom workstations, Typekit may not be a part of the school's Creative Cloud license. So if you have a Creative Cloud license and work from home, you will have font problems if you use Typekit fonts at home and then take that file to school to work on it there.